already started yet? No, we're still setting up. What happened with Ramsey? Oh, well, I got very dewy-eyed and confided in him that the Canaleses had made a deal with me. Instead of inheriting part of John's estate, they paid me a lump sum under the table. It was either that or, you know, spend years fighting them in court. Sounds plausible. And then I told him I had this problem. You see, I didn't know what to do with all that cash without it showing up in my record somewhere. And, well, what I really needed was wait all under the money. Is he going to help you? He's thinking about it. I can see the wheels turning. If we can get him involved in some illegal investing, we'll be able to nail that sucker to the wall. <laughs> well, hasn't somebody looked sharp? Woo! I look like a nerd. Well, Grandma Mary liked the suit, so I wore it. Oh. I'll get it! Mm -hmm. Hi, Neil. Hey, cool suit. Hi. Uh, oh, you do hey. look awfully handsome. Hi. <laughs> Hi. See, I told you it was a pain, Mary. <laughs> this is for Mary and Victor. Where should I put it? I will take that. Oh, that's yeah. great. Uh, listen, I hope nobody let him in on the surprise, right? No, not that I know of. Oh. I think they're coming over for St. Patrick's Day dinner. That's great. I'm so excited for Victor and Mary. Yeah, well, who'd have thought that old coot would get so lucky later on in life? He is not an old coot, okay? And you behave yourself. I've never seen Victor happier than when he's with Mary. Okay, okay. Gonna do it, Victor. What? I'm not gonna play an accordion duet before the St. Patrick's Day dinner. I'm not good enough to play in front of a group yet. I sound like a dying cow. If you want to make a fool of yourself, be my guest, but keep me out of it. <laughs> Is that what you think of me? I'm a fool? Of course not. That's what you just said. Oh, for heaven's yeah, sake. You said that Victor, just I now. Mean... Well, if you didn't mean it, maybe you shouldn't have said it. Why don't we just forget the whole thing and go to dinner? I'm not Come in the mood on. for dinner. What? Maybe you'd better go on without me. Victor. What? favorite busboy. Well, if it isn't my least favorite backstabbing drug peddling doctor. How's it going, Frank? You staying off the amphetamines? Hi. Hi. You made it. It's great. Well, something for the happy couple. Oh, that's very cute. Thank you. Victor and Mary should be here soon. They're coming with even Kevin. Even Kevin? They're coming? Mm-hmm. Why? I noticed that Lucy and Scott were here. Hey, you guys look happy. How's the business? Uh, well, we can say it's good because we're finally going to get our first shit on dresses out. Finally! Yes, and guess what? I'm almost done with my second design. Ooh, I want to see it. Well, then, why don't you come down and watch us shoot? Oh, you're doing another infomercial. Yes. Well, yeah, we need to. We, we got to do it, you know, new dress, new infomercial. And when you guys shooting it? Mm, well... Well, that's mm. sort of a problem. I'm having a real hard time finding the right actors for the parts. You know, you two are an awfully darn cute couple. Mm. Aw, mm. thank you. You're thinking what I think you might be thinking here? I think you're thinking right. Mm. I'm thinking what you're thinking, and I'm thinking they're perfect. What? For what? Mm. For mm. our infomercial. Oh. oh, no, wait a second. 
Oh, come on, it would be so much fun. And this one has everything this time. It has intrigue and romance. You get to dress up, beautiful, no, mysterious. I, I don't know anything about acting. I, I'd rather stick with something simple like brain surgery. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> but that's the beauty of it. Don't you see? There's no acting. You don't even have to know any lines. You just have to be yourselves. You just have to pretend you're in love, which would be very easy for the two of you. You don't have to pretend. <laughs> pretend it. All right, Joe, let's let me fly this past you. French Algerian War, you get to play a soldier. You know, you got a gun. You shoot. You know, you throw hand grenades. Oh, well, you know, now that you put it that way, where do I sign? Wait, okay, wait, right here. wait. <laughs> be serious. Now, think about this. I think it would be very special for you to be in the infomercial because everybody can see how in love the two of you really are. Victor, why aren't you dressed? You're going to be late for the party. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to the party. What do you mean you're not going? What? Where's Mary? I presume she's on her way to Frank's house. Oh, what happened? Mary and I had an argument. Over what? Well, it, 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 what difference does it make? The bottom line is that she... I'm an embarrassment to her because she thinks I'm an old fool. Oh, come on. Mary adores you. What about the engagement? Well, maybe I'm just not the marrying type. Uh, um, that's my cue. I have to go rearrange my sock drawer while you and your dad talk. Okay. Victor, what's going on? What's going on here is that we had an argument. Couples have arguments. You, of all people, should know that. But maybe I'm not the marrying type? That doesn't sound like I you. I beg your pardon, that sounds exactly like me. What do I know about having a happy marriage? Oh, I see. Does this have something to do with your fear of making the same mistakes with Mary that you made with Mother? Monk, do you have any idea how irritating it can be to have a son who's a psychiatrist? Probably on a par with having a father who plays the accordion. Victor, your relationship with Mary is nothing like your relationship with Mother. Monk, do you know what Freud said? What? He said sometimes a cigar is just a cigar, and sometimes an argument is just an argument. Good night. Victor. I see something! It's down at Scrammon's car! Right, I get the light. Oh, everybody oh, hide. Come on, come on. Shh. Shh. Very quiet. Okay. Surprise! Oh, my goodness. Where's Victor? Ah. Uh, he isn't coming. <laughs>